Today we're going to make beef egg rolls with a toasted sesame seed and soy sauce dipping sauce. Let's get started. Okay, what we need here is about a pound of lean ground beef, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one half a cup of finely chopped onion, uh, one half cup finely chopped water chestnuts. These are sliced in the can, but I'm going to chop them up further. We need a half a cup of flour and one half a cup of water. We also need a half a cup of bean sprouts, a half a cup of shredded carrots, one beaten egg, two tablespoons soy sauce, and one tablespoon of sugar. Then we need a teaspoon each salt and black pepper. We're going to use uh, egg roll wraps, any that you can find in the uh, grocery store. Usually it's in the vegetable produce area. And then I like to combine vegetable oil with an equal amount of peanut oil for frying them up. For our dipping sauce, we want about a teaspoon of toasted sesame seeds and about a couple tablespoons of soy sauce and about a tablespoon of rice vinegar. First thing we want to do is go ahead and cut our onion in half and peel it. We only need a half a cup, so what we're going to do is put the bottom of the onion away from us and just slide it down. For half a cup, that should be enough. And we'll just go this way. Remember, we want this to be pretty finely chopped. Once your onions are uh, finely chopped up, you want to go ahead and add a half a cup's worth. And we want to add a teaspoon of our garlic powder, right about there. Now we're going to add some water chestnuts. I want to give them a good chop. These need to be finely chopped as well. Add those to the bowl and we add a half a cup of flour and sprinkle that on there. And we add our water, also half a cup. And for our bean sprouts, I just like to give them a coarse chop. They can be a little bit bigger than the other ingredients because they're nice and crunchy anyway. So we'll go ahead and add those. Now we're going to go ahead and grate our carrots. So now we're going to add our carrot. A little more than half a cup, but that's okay. Then we're going to take a beaten egg here, give it a quick stir, and pour that in. Next is two tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two, and then we'll add our tablespoon of sugar. And then we want one teaspoon each of salt, and about the same amount of cracked pepper. These items we want to mix up with a fork, combine them real good before we add our ground beef. There. Now when that's all mixed up, we're going to go ahead and add our ground beef. And this is where the fun part begins. Now you do want to wash your hands and remove any jewelry. And then just go ahead and give it a good mix. Just squish through and combine the hamburger with all the other ingredients and it starts to look real colorful. Just kind of fold it all together. And it'll seem wet. It's not like you're making a meatloaf or anything. This, this is supposed to be very moist. This is our filling for our beef egg rolls. Making the egg rolls are, is relatively simple. You just want to take one of the wraps, lay it on a clean surface, and with your fingers just go along the edges with some water, getting it moist. And then on the meat mixture, just add about a good tablespoon, maybe a little more. And then what we do now is simply go over as in a triangle and then just press the edges down and roll it up and there you have an egg roll. And just continue until you have all your egg rolls made. Okay, I've got 10 or 11 or so. That should be enough. We can go ahead and prep our area for frying them up. So now what we want to do is go ahead and get an electric skillet if you have one. I like to have full control over the heat of the oil. I heat it to 350 degrees. Um, if you want you can also do it on the stove top in a pan uh, with about a half an inch of oil just being careful to keep the flame at a, at a reasonable level. While the oil is heating in the skillet I like to take a small pan and brown my uh, sesame seeds. This doesn't take very long. You want to do it over moderately medium to high heat. 
keeping an eye on the seeds. You just want them lightly toasted. Now when the sesame seeds are done, you can see that they're golden brown. You want to turn the flame off and remove them immediately out of the pan. They will still cook. Next, on very low heat, we want to take our two tablespoons of soy sauce and our one tablespoon of the rice vinegar and we're just going to heat that real slow like. Okay, once that's done we turn it off the heat and we're going to add our sesame seeds. This is going to be an excellent dipping sauce. Alright, our oil is ready. So what we want to do is very carefully place about four of them in the hot oil, being careful not to burn yourself. Just kind of roll them in there. You can use tongs as well. And we're going to let those cook and get brown on each side and then we'll be done. After about a minute, a minute and a half, you can see that they're getting nicely brown, so we want to go ahead and flip them over and let them go for about 45 seconds to another minute and a half. All right, these babies are done. So what we want to do is just take them out and drain them onto a nice plate with a paper towel underneath and go ahead and cook another batch. And we're going to go ahead and cook all the rest of our egg rolls. And so here we have our egg roll dish. Three hot, crunchy, golden brown egg rolls with a soy sauce, sesame seed dipping sauce, and also you can use chili garlic sauce if you have it. Enjoy!